The calendar feeds page is found via the payroll settings tab, which is accessed here or here. This allows you to create internet calendar feeds for popular events that occur throughout the system. The use of calendar feeds allows a business to share important dates without having to be logged into the platform. Rather, you and your staff can be made aware of events such as birthdays and leave from your own calendars such as Outlook, Google and Hotmail, just to name a few. Calendar events are automatically updated to reflect the current state of events within the system. There are four types of calendar feeds that can be configured. These include approved leave, pay runs, birthdays, and anniversaries. Just a note on this, when the calendar feed is connected, it shows future events only. Also, only full access users have permission to create calendar feeds. If you're wanting to add a calendar feed, simply click the add button to the right hand side. You'll need to give the feed a name and then select from the drop down event type field one of the four calendar feeds that was mentioned previously. From then, it's just a matter of clicking save and you'll see the calendar feed here. If you're wanting to delete one, hover over it and click on the red cross to the right hand side. Just a note on each calendar feed, any approved leave shows leave requests for non-terminated employees that have a status of approved. Also, when you add a calendar feed, you're able to select the employee group that you'd like this to apply to. This will reflect any employee group that's currently within the business. If you select pay run event type, you have the option to filter using pay date or pay period end date and add a specific pay schedule. To the right here will list any pay schedule that's currently in existence in the business. With the birthday event type, this will display birthdays for all non-terminated employees. Anniversaries. By creating an anniversary calendar, this allows you to report on an employee's start or anniversary date. These dates are derived from the employee file details page. The benefits of creating an anniversary calendar is to review employees' pays. You can wish them a happy anniversary, allow other employees to wish them a happy anniversary, or update any employee entitlements based on their length of service. The filters for this is date type, you can select from the start or anniversary date, and once again, employee group. Once the calendar feed's been created, this creates a unique URL that can be shared with staff and used with calendar and mail clients. Just a note, the calendar feed provided by this URL can be accessed by anyone without having to log into the system. You should be cautious when updating calendar feed settings, as this will affect anyone subscribing to the calendar feed. For example, if you were to modify the filters, the next time the calendar feed is updated, all events will be replaced with the new filter settings. Also, you won't be able to change the event type for a calendar feed after you create it. For example, this is a birthday event type, I can no longer change it now. This avoids unexpected feed updates. To update the token, simply click the generate button here and you'll be then able to copy and share the new URL. Any clients using the existing URL will no longer be able to receive calendar event updates to this feed. To provide users with the best possible performance without compromising the system speed, we cache each calendar feed for a period of time. This means that calendar feeds will not be real time, but instead a delayed view. And lastly, on this, several internet calendar providers such as Google and Outlook, which includes Live and Hotmail, will also cache our calendar feeds. This can result in further delays to the data displayed in a calendar feed. I hope this has been helpful. This is the calendar feeds page.